hang around with a lot of people who were into scooters when I was 16, and that really got me into it, basically. And then I got my job, which is, you know, fixing scooters anyway. So it's just grown from there, really. Just got a little dent in the front. But uh, I wouldn't say anything about women driving. Not I. <laughs> so what's more important for you, the, 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 the tag of being a mod with the clothes or the fact that uh, you love the scooter first and you love the imagery of being a mod second? Well, I, I was a mod in 1982 when I first got into it and I never had a scooter. I, I had a scooter five years ago, so I'm just catching up with my, my childhood, basically. Well, you don't have to be a mod or a skinhead really to ride a scooter. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't matter really, does it? It's, there's people over here, Stole Island, Ralph Lauren. I mean, really, clothes are just a part. The scooter thing is a part of fashion, and we all like to look good. So you let anybody join your kind of group, no matter what they were wearing, or what kind of person they were? As long as they uh, appreciated uh, scootering and were, well, you know, general friendly people, yes. I mean, there isn't a clothes restriction, there isn't age restriction, there isn't uh, any restriction, you know, as long as they get on.